All right, well, welcome to a final wrap up of the review I've been doing of the new Citadel Games Workshop paint range. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of summarize things in this post and uh, maybe have some closing thoughts. So uh, looking at some of the, the guys, uh, the bits and pieces that I tried out. So uh, I used the sort of the orc skin um, layers on this guy here and used the washes and glazes. Tried out some of the metallics and uh, I'm quite happy with how they turned out, albeit the um, the pigment size, so the, the flex inside the metallic seemed to be larger than usual, so it gets a bit more sparkly. It's probably impossible to tell on the video, but um, a little bit of difference there. Whether that's a good thing or not, maybe it makes it a bit more realistic, I don't know. Um, the reds there, uh, so the foundations work, I'm sorry, the bases work just like foundations. The, uh, the texture paints and the dries, they work kind of the way that they're meant to. Um, you end up with uh, decent uh, results with minimal effort. There's the, the, the dry Necron um, compound on there. Um, the Devlin Mud equivalent of Agrath uh, Earthshade, or whatever it's called, is, uh, is great. The Newland Oil is just like Bad Out Black, no difference that I could tell. Um, when I did the, actually it wasn't even that one, it was this one here. That's Bad Out Black and uh, Newland Oil on one side. And then we have the glazes, which are a nice addition. Um, and uh, yeah, so I guess the biggest issue with this whole range is that uh, Games Workshop discontinued the existing colors and chose to make new ones that were not the same. So the so Bal Red Wash is no longer in existence. You have this Carag whatever, the wacky names. I think that's probably my biggest complaint is that they didn't maintain the colors and um, they changed the names and because they had to make up 145 new ones with trademarked things that people couldn't copy, um, you end up with uh, some really wacky stuff that's hard to pronounce. But the paints themselves and the quality of the paints I think is excellent. Um, is it worth four dollars or three dollars or whatever you're paying in your local currency? Um, that's a judgment call that you need to make compared to what other options you have available. Some people have Vallejo paints at their local hobby store. Other people have P3 uh, or Reaper. Um, all of those are excellent paints. And really, what it comes down to, what what can you support locally? Where are you going to get your ideas from? And uh, and how are you going to get your models painted? So. For me, I think that this is a great option. Um, Games Workshop paints are available everywhere, so the, the supply chain part of it makes them something that you know you're going to be able to get in the future. Games, Work, Games Workshop's consistent. Um, I think the last time they changed the paints this drastically was 2003, so you know these are going to be around for quite a while, and uh, so you shouldn't have a problem getting the exact same colors, and it's an investment that will um, last quite a while. Um, not that I'm trying to convince you to, to ditch all your paints. There's lots of different ways. People use craft paints, people use um, models paints, so you have testers, you have model master, Tamiya, um, all those different options. So uh, don't feel like this is your only option. However, it is a great option. The colors are excellent, the paints, there's some new technologies there, you know, the dries um, and the textures there that are now available. Uh, everywhere basically so any hobby store you go into you'll be able to get that as well as support for that so I presume that they're gonna have uh, articles on the website like they used to um, as well the uh, white dwarves will have um, lots of painting tutorials anytime new stuff comes out so uh, you'll be able to find out how to paint your your guys and you'll have lots of support that way and of course um, people making videos online We'll have to support the Games Workshop stuff because theirs is the biggest thing in town. So um, you know you'll be able to find good videos for this and uh, get lots of tips online. So the uh, I'd say the the paints perform as they they are meant to, and the color range is very uh, very full and complete. Um, so uh, overall, I think it's a it's a nice addition. I would have preferred that they kept the, the names of the old colors as well as the, the same colors, but, um, well, 
they didn't ask me, so I got to live with what they chose. So uh, hope you like these uh, videos in the series. Let me know if you have any other questions, and I'll answer it in the comments. And uh, check out my future videos where I will show you um, various painting tutorials with all of these new paints. And uh, try to make it uh, simple and straightforward to follow so that you can get your guys on the table painted up as soon as possible. See you next time.